It's expensive, but it could also make you a victim. We tell you how to keep your iPhone and identity from being stolen. Plus, a press conference about Biola's present and future, we take you there. And it's that stressful time of year again. Housing signups are here. We tell you how to reserve the room you want. All this and more on Eagle Vision News. been a busy week full of sports here at Biola. Last week, both the volleyball and soccer teams were playing in the One of the most anticipated games of the basketball season. From Biola's and that's hundreds of We've gone a house where nearly everyone here plays a sport. I think I'm Reporting from La Mirada, this has been Katie Owen. This has been Miles Wright. Jennifer Martin, Shannon Ikuda, Eagle Vision News, Biola. Hi, I'm Jennifer Martin and you're watching Eagle Vision News. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake in China kills nearly 600 people and injures over 8,000. The quake hit northwest China in one of the most inaccessible areas of China, the Qinghai province. More than 85% of houses at the epicenter collapsed and hundreds of people are still buried under the debris. About 700 soldiers are struggling to clear away the rubble and rescue those buried underneath, and a thousand more are waiting to be dispatched. This is the largest earthquake that the region of China has seen. And identity theft has taken a new turn with the release of the iPhone. That's because it stores information like bank account passwords, making owners easy targets. Eagle Vision's Denise Wood tells us how to easily recover lost or stolen iPhones. With lowered prices and easier access, iPhones are more available to students than ever before. But what happens when it gets lost or damaged? Users are given a one-year warranty for their phone that can be extended to two years with the purchase of AppleCare software, although physical damage to the phone can bring additional costs. If it's physical damage, they will charge you whatever price you paid with a two-year contract, they will replace it for you. But if you get it stolen or you lose it, pretty much you're on your own. Depending on the model, the phones cost between $500 to $700 to replace without the help of a startup discount. Steep prices give students incentive to track down their lost or stolen phone, although many don't know how. Probably two ways to file that, that type of incident. One, you can always contact uh, Biola Campus Safety, and they'll either write the report or they'll refer you to over here to the Lamarada Community Sheriff's Station, and the Sheriff's Department will, will take the complaint report. Besides the general AppleCare software, Apple also offers a feature called Mobile Me for $100 per year that allows the owner to track their phone and backup data to an online server. Uh, find the phone remotely through the maps, the Google Maps. You can also wipe it out remotely. So if you just can't find it through in your computer, you can just wipe out the whole uh, phone, all your information. If students should find that their phone is stolen, the cost of the iPhone also plays a part and makes the penalty steeper if the thief is caught. Anybody who's apprehended with any property over a certain dollar amount is considered grand theft, which is a felony. Anything over $400 is considered a felony grand theft crime. Many choose to avoid paying for expensive and extra safety options, but students can still protect any personal information on their phone by using one of the phone's many privacy features. If you put a passcode, then you're fine. If you lose it, nobody can get all your information because if they want to use the actual phone, it has to be wiped out. For students who wish to further safeguard their phones, you can go to Passcode Lock under General Settings and set a four-digit password that is required every time you wish to unlock your phone. This app called Keeper that you put in like a little password and it can store all your other passwords. So no one can really get into that unless they know your secret password. While many just enjoy the fun applications on their phones and think damages and theft are unlikely, there are still small measures they can take to ensure the safety of all their valuables. All your, your laptops and your cell phones either in your dorms, in your apartments, wherever they're at, and lock them up. Don't leave them in your cars unlocked. Most of these crimes are crimes of opportunity. With common sense and a few extra safety measures, students can often avoid theft or loss and enjoy the use of the many applications available on their iPhones. This has been Denise Wood for Eagle Vision News. Spring semester is coming to an end and the President's office wants to answer your questions about next year. That's why President Barry Corey and his administrative council are holding a press conference to discuss Biola's future. Eagle Vision's Taylor Smith is there at the cafeteria on campus. Taylor? That's right, I'm here in the cafe where we usually come to eat, but tonight it serves as a location for a town hall meeting where students could come to ask questions about Biola's current status and its upcoming future. Dr. Barry Corey and members of PAC met with students in an event that was the first of its kind. The town hall meeting not only opened up the floor for questions and concerns from students, but PAC also shed some light on some exciting announcements like faster internet. I can announce tonight 
a new contract in which we are adding 300 megabytes per second to our already 100. And so we will have 400 megabytes per second under contract by June. But the internet is not the only thing Biola can look forward to. PAC says they're working to keep the cost of tuition from rising. But I want to assure you that both President Corey and the Board of Trustees are taking this very seriously. In fact, the Board of Trustees actually has a task force on the whole issue of affordability. And something else students will have to get used to? No more event postings on campus. It felt like it was litter. I don't know if you felt that. Up and down, up and down. You guys don't pay attention to it. I know that. From now on, we'll find out about events on TVs around campus. And if students still have more questions that weren't answered tonight, the PAC says they are open for more discussion. This is Taylor Smith reporting for Eagle Vision News. Biola. Thanks, Taylor. Entering the lottery can be risky, especially if it's for campus housing. Reporter Sarah Kim tells us what steps you can take to get the dorm or apartment that you're hoping for. For those of you who are planning to be in Biola's apartments, you can reserve your room starting from April 19th to April 21st. Based upon what class you will be in the fall, you can find in this chart the exact time you will need to come to reserve a room. As for those of you who are planning to reserve a room in the dorm, you must come to Hope Hall starting from April 27th to April 29th. When you're trying to room with a student who's coming back from off campus, you need to bring an email from that student saying yes, they want to be your roommate, and they want you to sign up for them to be in the same room. Taking my own little tour around all the other dorms as well, but so far I'm, I am happy living with the person. I'm a transfer student this semester and I just love it. I love my floor, I love the guys on the floor, I love my RA and how he runs it. Um, they just kind of put me in Stewart. I didn't request that. I requested Horton or Emerson, but I've loved it down there. Don't forget to bring your filled out official apartment or Thompson lottery form to the housing office on Monday by 4 p.m. All housing forms are available in your residence halls at the housing office and at the room reservation. This was Sarah Kim, Eagle Vision News, Biola. As you're planning where to live next year, don't let dorm stereotypes get in the way. Reporter Ariane Yates takes a closer look at the mixed feelings associated with one particular dorm, Alpha. Alpha Chi is home to more than 300 girls here at Biola University and holds the title of one of the first dorms built in 1966. While this all-girls dorm is typically referred to as a freshman dorm, many upperclassmen have chosen to remain living here as well. So what is it about Alpha Chi that either draws you in or makes you run for cover? I got my letter and it said, congrats, you're an alpha girl. And then I thought, okay, okay, I can do this. I think before you can build relationships with guys, you need to learn how to build relationships with other women first and get an understanding of who you are as a woman before, you know, getting into relationships with guys. So Don't let the stereotype scare you. It's an actually pretty cool place. But what do the guys have to say about this? Do they believe in this cliche? I don't believe it, you know? It's just all a conspiracy. These girls shouldn't be forced to fit into this kind of stereotype. Honestly, desperation. I, I pity them because they just, they have no way out of this title that's been placed upon them. My experiences in there have been pretty neutral, like positive, negative, nothing's really happened too serious for me to have any assumptions of the girls overall. I definitely don't think it's a, I don't, I don't think it's an alpha thing, it's, I'd say it's a girls on campus in general, so, but the girls here are great, so. With the hall full of girls, there are a tremendous amount of fragrances that fill the building. Yet, when it comes to certain aromas, some are simply too good to pass up. Regardless of what people may think about Alpha Girls, that doesn't change the fact that there is a certain sisterhood within these walls. Why? Because no guys are allowed. Some secrets are better left a mystery. This has been Ariana Yates for Eagle Vision News. Bye, Ola.
Coming up, the masses are jetting to the fitness center. Are you ready for bathing suit season? Plus, Eagle Vision investigates where internet is fastest on campus. And Tiger Woods is back on course, but is he off his game? All this and more after the break. Stay tuned.